jsem pro nás taky vám všechno připravil. Grupu na srdu, který to připravil, na pěti kartovém mýváhu, myslím, na pravém mýváhu, myslím, na rajném prvnotu, myslím, že tým, že to podáčel, že já jsem všechno gol, tak já musím ten můj jiný jiný, jak mám zase, že když jsem kráč, já mám zase, pak pádem čas tam, tak jsem si všem ten to otec kam vás je kármen, já na smrt budu muset za to, ale to smí. Šrikyšnu Putra na náma, Alink, na Alink, na Máju, Hrgot, Pádem, Šankaram, Lok, Šankaram, Šankaram, Šankaračáriem, Kešovom, Bátrájnem, Sútra, Vhaši, Kratou, Vandy, Bhagavantou, Punah, Punah, Išvaru, Guru, Rátmi, Tým, Murti, Bhedri, Vhalini, Vyoma, Vadyapta, Dehaya, Dakši, Námu, Teje, Namah, Sahnámu, Vatu, Sahnámu, Vhnaktu, Sahavíri, Ankarová, Vahí, Kesri, Návahí, Samastvány, Šávahí, I, Om, Šant, 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 Hí, Jeho brahmáne vzáty kůru je jedá, když se prhynou, ty ta smějí ta vůmhady, jeho má smůdu při pravášem mnukšeru, její šerana mohem propadí jedu, šanty, šanty, šanty. So continuing with the Jyotis šerana dikranam, you look at that three sutras, the fourth sutra there was introduced by saying there is a vibhakti bheda in what you the siddhanti is saying leading to pratyavinya. So you are saying in one mantra divi saptami which shows adhara which indicates adhara by adhikarana and divaha being panchami, digyoga panchami it shows avadhi. So in like a, a is an upasarga which is used to say that when a samantat, it is an avadhi. <coughs> so panchami and saptami vibhakti bhedas cannot give you pratyabhidnya. Because adhara and avadhi are two different things, they are not the same, there cannot be a possibility of Pratyabhidnya Siddhi Puro Pakshi. So, yet Pratyabhidnya Ana Muktam Tanna Ityashankya Aha Vibhakti Bheda. Tatha cha Vibhakti Bheda na Dhyu Sambandhat Yet Pratyabhidnya Ana Muktam Tanna Ityashankya Aha. That Dhyu Shabda is same, but the Sambandha is in different ways. The Karaka Bheda is there, therefore, it cannot give rise to Pratyabhidnya Siddhi Puro Pakshi and answer to that is this Sutra Upadesha Bheda Neti Chenna Ubhayasmin Apyavirodhat Upadesha Bheda Neti Chen Nobhayasmin Apyavirodhat Upadesha Bheda Na Iti Chet Na Ubhayasmin Apyavirodhat That is the Padacheda Upadesha Bheda is there Vibhakti bheda na upadesha bheda. The teaching is different with saptami vibhakti and teaching is different with the panchami vibhakti. Therefore, na, na pratyabhijnana na bhavati iti chet. If that be the objection, Siddhanti says na. Why? Why na? Ubhayasmin api avirodhat. Ubhayasmin. The Ubhayasmin Upadeshi Api. Upadesha Bheda you say by Vibhakti Bheda, but Vibhakti Bheda Api Upadesha Bheda Ha Na Bhavati. In both the teachings, what is finally meant is Brahma. And therefore, Avirodha. Why will Pratyavidnya occur? Because the teaching is the same using different Vibhaktis. How so? So take an example, if uh, you know there is something in a Shaka Chandra Nyaya or uh, something like that is used where somebody needs to show you the Vruksha and the tip of the branch of the Vruksha, the top of the Vruksha, something like that. So Chandra the Chaturdashi uh, or the uh, after Amavasya Prathama or you know the Chaturdashi Chandra is not clearly seen. So there the 
Chaka Chandra Nyaya is being used and the Shaka is being pointed out the Agra of the Vriksha, the tip of the tree there at somewhere near the tip of the branch or the tree. So how would anyone say in Sanskritam also? So Vriksha Grat Parataha. So Vriksha Grat is Panchami. Samasa is being used but Panchami is used to show the same Chandra. Vriksha Grat Parataha. Just next to or further to that tip of the Vriksha, the branch. Shaka Grat. Or Vriksha Greva. Saptami can be used. Vriksha Gre. Go look at that. Vriksha Gre Asti. Vriksha Grat Parata Asti. Both mean the same thing. The teaching is the same even if in the Shaka Chandranya also, the teaching is the same even if Vivaktis are used differently. Because Vivaktis are based on what? Karakas are based on what? Vivakshata Karakani. In Vyakrana we have the saying, Vivakshata Karakani. The Karakas are used based on the Vivaksha. The Vivaksha can be different and therefore Vibhakti Bheda is different. But the intention, end intention of teaching, what is understood through the different vibhaktis also can be the same. And that is meant. The style of expression may be different. But just because the style is different does not mean that the teaching is different. Even you look at Tinganta also. Karmani Prayoga, Kartari Prayoga. The karma and karta may be denoted and they may be mukhya. But still the understanding that takes place when the karta and karma both are supplied, be it in different cases. Ramena vanam gamyate, Ramaha vanam gachati. There is a difference in active and passive voice. The earlier was a passive voice, second is an active voice. So karmani prayoga and kartari prayoga, bheda is different, uh, bheda is there. Vivakti Veda is also there, but Karta in Tritiya, Karta in Prathama. Karma in Dvitiya, Karma in Prathama. Karma is still there. Cases are different. Karma is the same. The understanding is the same. What is Mukhya is based on the Vivaksha. In this sentence, the Karma is Mukhya when Vanam Gamyate has been mentioned. But Ramaha Gachati, when it is mentioned, Karma is supplied Vanam. It may be Amukhya. Karta may be mukhya, but still styles being different, the, the understanding is same. Rama goes to the forest or Rama reach the forest. So similar understanding is possible. However, if a single word is to be compared, here the question is not the vakya, the single word. There, Vriksha Grath and Vriksha Gre will lead to the same understanding. Because what is being pointed out in the context should be seen. If you look at all the context, the Chandra is being referred to. The questioner wants to know where Chandra Kutra asti. I, I can't see it. Where? Akashe Chandra Kutra asti. There? Vrikshagrat Parathahava. Vrikshagre. So you say it in that manner using different vibhaktis also. The understanding is same. Why? Because Pratipadik Artha is same. Arthavad adhatur apratya pratipadikam. So pratipadika is same across two vibhaktis, vrikshagrat or vrikshagre. Pratipadika is vrikshagra. That understanding will still be the same. Similarly, here, upadesha bhedat. Even if upadesha bheda is seen by the puru pakshi, it is not there. Because ubhayasminapi upadesha. Let's say bheda is there, meaning the vivaksha seems different. So the teaching is in different styles. Still, avirodha. Why? Because Vaisminapi, avirodha is there because the intention of both the teachings is the same. How so? Look at it further in the Vritti. Divi divaha iti vivakti bhedena upadeshat jyotir vakke pratyavidyanam na sambhati iti chet. Na. Siddhanti says na. So what is not possible? Pratyavidya is not possible as per the Puro Pakshi. It cannot give you Pratyavidya of same Brahma. Oh, the same Brahma which is Chatushpat. That is this Brahma said to be Chatushpat in Jyotir Vakya. Jyoti is Chatushpat. 
ब्रह्म ही चतुष्पात देर फोर ज्योति इज ब्रह्म दैट काइंड ऑफ ज्योति इज दैट सेम एंटिटी विच इज मेंट बाय दी वर्ड ब्रह्म एल्सवेयर पुरुषा एल्सवेयर दैट काइंड ऑफ प्रत्यभिज्ञा कान टेक प्लेस बिकॉज विभक्ति भेदा इज देर दिवी सप्तमी दिवा इज पंचमी सो दिवी शोज अधिकरण एंड दिवा शोज अवधि डिलिमिटेशन सो सिद्धांत दिस इज न दैट ऑब्जेक्शन इज नॉट वैलिड वाय कुतः कस्मात कारण उभयस्मी उभयस्मी की विभक्ति भेदेन उपदेश मीन्स इफ देर आर टू डिफरेंट टू टीचिंग्स बट दे आर नॉट डिफरेंट टू टीचिंग्स ऑल राइट टू डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स ऑफ सेइंग समथिंग स्टेटिंग समथिंग सो उभयस्मीन विभक्ति भेदेन दिवी एंड दिवह इफ देर आर टू डिफरेंट टीचिंग्स देर यूजिंग टू डिफरेंट विभक्ति दे आर नॉट रियली डिफरेंट द एंड रिजल्ट इज प्रधान प्रातिपदिकार्थेन प्रत्यभिज्ञा अविरोधा दट प्रत्यभिज्ञा विल नॉट बी पॉसिबल इवन इफ लेट्स ए देर आर टू डिफरेंट टीचिंग्स नॉट ओनली स्टाइल द टीचिंग इज डिफरेंट स्टिल प्रत्यभिज्ञा कैन टेक प्लेस बिकॉज इन वन ज्योति इज हैविंग फोर पादास एल्स वेर पुरुष और ब्रह्म हैज फोर पादास दट स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट द सेम इट्स नॉट द सेम स्टेटमेंट across both but still pratyabhijna can take place because chatushpad chatushpatvam has been mentioned and that is the cause for pratyabhijna because it won't be pratyabhijna if the teaching is really the same if the statement is exactly the same what will you say still pratyabhijna is possible oh i have heard the statement there as well it's the same statement so same statement if you know it to be same then it is not really pratyabhijna in in the sense that you are able to recognize there is nothing to inquire into it it's the same statement that's all it is see when taddesha tatkala and etaddesha etatkala difference is there in jevadatta that time there is something more to do that is pratyabhijna here it is clearly pratyabhijna as well but still not the way soyam devadatta sentence is same and the sentence can occur across multiple upanishads two different people who have never seen each other never met each other they can still have a usage which is exactly the same it can be the same sentence somebody is named as rama elsewhere he has never met the other rama both say i am rama there is no difference in the sentence so that can't give you pratyabhijna because this it's not the same person different person all to you so here different statements ज्योति ही इज ब्रह्म ज्योति हैज फोर पादास एंड ब्रह्म हैज फोर पादास दैट कैन डेफिनेटली गिव राइज टू प्रत्यभिज्ञ वेजर इट इज सेड दैट यू नो दिवी और दिवह इन ईदर केस प्रत्यभिज्ञ इज पॉसिबल ऑल दो टीचिंग्स आर डिफरेंट द स्टेटमेंट आर कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट इन द सेंस दैट ज्योति ही वर्ड इज नॉट देर इन दर सेंटेंस एंड ब्रह्म वर्ड इज नॉट देर इन दिस सेंटेंस still pratyabhijna is possible pratyabhijna ya avirodhat there is no possibility of objection saying that pratyabhijna is not possible why not possible some similarities are there although the sentences are different some similarity is there that similarity which is pradhana really nothing else can bring in chatushpatvam it makes no sense here therefore pratyabhijna and the conclusion also will be that it is brahma that is being talked about pradhanyena so pradhana pratipadika artha is same and therefore that becomes the hetu for pratyabhijna pratya so this is you know hetau tritiya pratyabhijnayaha avirodhat prakruta tripad brahma परामर्शि परामर्शीयुबंधा परम ब्रह्म ज्योतिशब्दित उपास्यम सिद्ध नाउ दिस चतुष्पात्व विच इज मेन्शन नाउ यू लुक एट दिस सेंटेंस इट्स वॉट इज द सेंटेंस यूज इन बोथ केसेस देर इज समथिंग दैट विल गिव राइज टू प्रत्यभिज्ञ दैट इज दैट इज चतुष्पात चतुष्पात शब्द दैट हेज बीन यूज बट हाउ हेज इट बीन यूज सो यदेंट तद शब्द सर्वनाम शब्द विच इज यूज that is a giveaway says the siddhanti so he says 
look at the sentence construct he says prakruta tripat brahma so chatushpatam is one where one place where it is said now tripat to which tripat which is said tripat brahma which is being analyzed because one pada is for bhutas sarvani bhutani or sar sarva bhuta whereas the other three they are amruta divi amrutam so the sentence if you look at it what is the vishaya in this sutra that vishaya is yad what was said earlier quoted here as <coughs> yes here atha yad atha paro divi jyotir dipyate vishvatah prushteshu ityadi so the mantra goes as अथ यत परो दिवी ज्योति दैट यद इज अर्वनाम यद अतः पर दिव सो दिव इज पंचमी यू आर फोकसिंग ऑन दिव बट लुक एट यत से सिद्धांति टू पूर्व पक्ष यद हेज बीन मेन्शन यद अत पर दिव ज्योति देर दिस यत in this statement vakya yat which has been used, that sarvanama if you inquire into that sarvanama what does it stand for prakruta tripad brahma paramarshi paramarshi yat shabd yat shabd is something that you have to inquire into now what does yat shabd? because any time a pronoun is used you have to look for a noun that it stands for so which noun will fulfill that yat That yat shabda anubandha cha anubandha is sammanda. What is the sammanda of that yat shabda? What is the sammanda with? So divaha jyoti has been said and yad jyoti. Jyoti is the noun there. So yad atav paraha divaha jyoti hi. Jyoti hi being mentioned as in pratama. And yad is in prathama. Both are in napunsa kalinga. So atav para yad jyoti yat jyoti has been mentioned and yat is a sarvanama. That sarvanama paramarshi anubandha. The sambandha is that which is paramarshi. Sarvanama paramarshi. You have to think of a sambandha now. How does yat connect? And that yat. actually connects with jyotisha brahmana the brahma yat stands for brahma and jyoti hi also in prathama means brahma because there is a samanadikaranya samanadikaranya sambandha anubandha hi samanadikaranya and therefore param brahma eva jyotish shabditam upasyam iti siddham that yat shabda will actually show you this tripad brahma which started of chatushpat and then tripad because three are amruta while one is manif- manif- manifest one pada is manifest therefore yat shabda will bring in this this uh, uh, brahma this tripad or chatushpat of brahma will trigger pratyavidya and yat will end up having sambandha with brahma which is in samanadi karana with jyotish shabda therefore jyotish shabditam brahma eva param brahma eva upasyam iti siddham there is no possibility of the purva paksha being valid so this is the uh, third sutra in the uh, adhikarana uh, yeah so fourth sutra not third sutra in the adhikarana the next uh, sutra is introduced with a sangati that's it purosmin adhikarane the adhi sorry the adhikarana is over so the adhikarana is over so uh, with the fourth sutra the adhikarana is over jyotish charana adhikarana and the pratardana adhikarana starts now so what is the sambandha of this adhikarana with the earlier adhikarana so purosmin adhikarane the jyotish charana ज्योति चरणाधिकरण व्हाट वाज द इंट्रोडक्शन देयर द प्राणवाक्य एंड अर्लियर टू दैट आकाशवाक्य वेयर तल्लिंग वाज द हेतु ब्रह्मलिंग वाज द हेतु दैट कैन ऑफ ब्रह्मलिंग लेड टू ब्रह्मपरता ऑफ आकाश एंड प्राण शब्द 
So it's a recap. Similarly, Jyoti Shabda does not have does not have Brahma Parata because Tal Linga is missing, Brahma Linga is missing. Now it has been shown with Chatushpatvam, it has been shown that there is Tal Linga and Gayatri Upasana where the Gayatri as an introduction was shown in the first mantra in that section 312. Going on till 313.7 which was quoted as the Vishaya Mantra, there Pratyavidya of same Brahma is possible due to Chatushpatvam and Gayatri is a means to resolution of the Upasakas Chetaha in Brahma. Therefore, it is not really Gayatri Upasana, it is Parabrahma Upasana itself. This was the conclusion made. Now, how does this connect with the next Pratardhana Adhikarana? Uh, so, actually, uh, Pratardhana Adhikarana, Pratardhana Sammandhi. So, it is Tadhita derived from Pratardhana. Pratardhana is a human being who reached Indra Loka. We will see more a little later. So, Purvasmin Adhikarane. In the earlier Adhikarana, Prakruta Tripad Brahma Paramarshi Yachabda Samanadhi Krita. Samanadhi Krita means Samanadhi Karana. Due to Samanadhi Karana. Making Samanadhi Karana. Samanadhi Krita Jyotish. So, Krita is Tritya. Tritya is a or Samanadhi Krit. So, Samanadhi Krit appears to be Kvibanta. So, Purvasmin Adhikarane. Prakruta Tripad Brahma Paramarshi Yachabda Samanadi Kruta Jyotish Jyotish Shrutihi. So Jyoti Vakya, that Jyotir Vakya, Jyotish Shruti, Jyotir Vakya, where it is said to be Chatushpat. And in that, leaving out one Pada, which is Bhuta's manifestation, the other three are Amruta. So that Yat Shabda, which is Paramarshi, thereby sam, Samanadi Karanam Samanda was there, and therefore Samanadi Krit. It was Samanadi Krit. And through that Samanadi Krita, Jyoti Shruti. Uh, sorry, this is not Tritya. I'm sorry, it's not um, little sleepy. Sorry. So, this is uh, Strilinga because uh, here Jyoti Shruti has been said. You know, I took it as Jyoti, so I jumped the gun their uh, neutral would work. But then, Jyotish Shruti has been mentioned, which is Trilinga. So, Samanadi Krita Shruti hi. That Shruti hi, Jyotish Shruti, and by Jyotish Shruti, what is meant? Really, Jyotish Shabda. So, Jyotihi, Jyotir Vakya, in that Jyotir Vakya, Jyotihi is there. That Jyotihi word is Shruti. And that being Trilinga, Samanadi Krita. Samanadi Karana is there of this Jyotish Shabda with the Yat Shabda. So, Yat Shabda, the pronoun, has Samanadi Karane with Jyotish Shabda. So, Jyotish Shruti is Samanadi Krita. It is made in Samanadi Karanyam. That is what meant, is meant by Samanadi Krita. It is put in Samanadi Karanyam, Samanadi Karanyam, and thereby Tripad Brahma gives you Pratyabhidya of Jyotish Shabda meaning Brahma itself. Therefore, Jyotihi is not Upasyam, but Parabrahma is Upasyam. This is the conclusion made in the earlier Adhikarana, Purvasmin Adhikarana. And thereby what? Jyoti Shruti Tadartha. Tadartha is the Brahma Upasana Artha. It is for the purpose of Brahma Upasana. The Jyoti Shabda means Tadartha is actually, it means Brahma itself. Jyoti Shruti hi tadartha jyoti shruti hi. What is tadartha? Brahmartha. It has the meaning of Brahma. And therefore, the jyoti upasana, jyoti upasana is really parabrahma upasana. That's the final conclusion. Na tatha iha. That samanvaya is not possible here. Where in the pratardana adhikarana, the vishayas are the, uh, the kaushitake upanishad mantra. Where Pranosmi Pradnyatma says Indra. So there, this Asadharan Tata Iha Na in this Kaushitiki Upanishad mantra, it is not possible. Asadharan Kinchit Samasti Pranasya Brahmat. So he says Kinchit Samasti. There is nothing like that. 
the asadharana such kind of an asadharana is not there which will lead to pramana so pranasya brahmatve manam nasti kinchit samasti na samasti tatha ih kaushati ki upanishati kinchit asadharana na samasti there is not even a little which will lead to conclusion of that mantra having tatparya in brahma so samanvaya is not possible says the puro pakshi and therefore pranasya the prana which is being discussed there that prana cannot mean brahma earlier in the adhikarana the prana adhikarana which went by after akasha adhikarana prana adhikarana there the prana you have led to brahma jyoti also you have led to brahma but in the indra's teaching there to pratardana their prana shabda cannot mean brahma because he says pranosmi pragnatma aham asmi says indra indra says i am pra- i am prana i am pragnatma so indra can be the meaning there who is upasya so upasya devata is indra in that who is seen as prana who is claimed by indra himself as prana he claims that i am prana so there is no such pramana to interpret that prana shabda is brahma so pranasya brahmatve manam pramanam manam is pramanam nasti na samasti kinchit api na samasti there is nothing not even little asadharana there tata iha asadharana which will lead to such conclusion that kind of a thing isn't there just let me cross check one i wanted to uh yeah iha asadharana so the asadharan i just want to check what asadharan could mean so asadharan here means uh, vishesha see sadharan means common asadharan means vishesha so there is no vishesha you cannot search for something specific that's what it means so ih asadharanam in the prana teaching of indra as prana he himself teaches there pranosmi so there there is no specific indicator that you are looking for which will give samanvaya into brahma the prana shabda to be led to brahma as lakshartha there as a meaning and therefore what yena tatha syad yena tatha syad means brahmatvam pranasya brahmatvam syad tatha pramanam eva nasti that's what puro pakshi say vishesham <coughs> kinchidapi vishesha nasti sir so, vishesh vishesha is pull, pulling us so kashchidapi विशेषा नास्ति असाधारणम किञ्चित् नास्ति मीनिंग कश्चित् विशेषा नास्ति देयरफॉर व्हाट देयरफॉर प्रमाणम नास्ति एंड देयरफॉर व्हाट ब्रह्मत्वम प्राणस्य ब्रह्मत्वे प्रमाणम नास्ति देयरफॉर प्राणस्य ब्रह्मत्वम नास्ति न स्यात् येन तथा मीन्स प्राणस्य ब्रह्मत्वम स्यात् येन स्यात् तस्मिन् प्रमाणमेव नास्ति इति प्रत्युदाहरण संगत्यै दमाह the objection is similar as what is earlier but here the quotations are different the constructs leading to this objection are different so pranasya brahmatve manam nasti and for that he has already given a background and due to this reason so he has already given a hetu and thereby pratardana adhikaranam starts in the sutras the first sutra is pranas tatha anugamat pranas tatha anugamat so sutrakar says प्राण तथा अनुगमा प्राण इज वॉट प्राण इज ब्रह्म प्राण इन इंद्रास टीचिंग इन कौशति के उपनिषद ऑल्सो वेन ही सेज प्राण अस्मी इट स्टील मीन्स ब्रह्म वाई तथा अनुगमा सच एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग टेक्स प्लेस देर दिस प्राण यू कैन लुक एट this section and then it will give you linga for prana to mean brahma that is the meaning of the sutra the vritti explains further atra purva pakshe pranendra devata jeevanam anyatamo upasthi so there is an upasana 
when indra teaches pratardana see the background is this when indra is teaching pratardana how did it come about to be so pratardana is a human being indra vinu is a devata and he is a he is a chief of devatas he is a king of devata so the pratardana human being somehow reaches indra loka we should not ask how it can be a story or you can take it literally just because we don't have siddhis does not mean that and in today's world we cannot see siddhis easily does not mean that there was no sid- such siddhi possible at all i mean this is comes up in a context it triggers uh, this kind of a, this kind of a, an objection because somewhere else this objection came up <coughs> we saw somewhere else someone asked you know nachiketa how how did nachiketas reach uh, in, you know yamaloka in katopanishad nachiketa goes to yamaloka and he is a kid he is a bala in fact he says uh, tata he is not able to say the word properly it comes in the upanishad itself so there bhagwan bhashyakara says this is an aside but it is important aside for shraddha because we have this buddhi which objects you know our modern teaching modern schooling upbringing and having almost next to no cultural you know uh, roots i mean almost next to nothing you know that kind of a that kind of a modern upbringing makes us object to these things our buddhi does not agree with it. it it says that it is not logical how can it be logical although the logic that is used in the shastra that logic we do not have training much training in but still we'll say oh i have you know i am an engineer uh, phd whatever you know so i have this uh, education i can't take all this you know even if i have to take i have to take it with a pinch of salt it is all you know blind faith and all that we should not go thus far the re- reason is because these what we are looking at what we are trying to get is all in the vedas that veda talks about karma upasanas also which can give you siddhi so we cannot have ardha jarati nyaya oh brahma i case possible but uh, everything else in karma and upasana is bogus it isn't till one actually has sakshatkara all this is as real as the logic that we are using the modern education that is making us object and the body mind sense complex that we are associated with that much satya is there vyavaharika satya that much is there in everything that the vedas talks about therefore you cannot really uh, differentiate and say that no i agree with this i don't agree with this ardha jarati and i should not be used so i forgot to switch on the auto admit okay so nachiketa had this kind of a shakti even as a bala whether in this janma or earlier janma what he had enco- uh, what he had come across and what sadhana he has done so he was able to reach yamaloka due to that reason even without dying and even without taking so much of time that shastra itself talks about that to travel to yamaloka that much time is needed but one who has this upasana earned uh, siddhi is can reach similarly here pratardana human being could reach indra in the indra loka and indra was surprised he was not expecting a, a guest so he is an atithi so he looks at pratardana and pratardana challenges him to a fight pratardana whatever for whatever reason he challenges indra to a fight now indra is thinking as to if i fight with pratardana a human being and i win over being the king of devatas winning over a mere mortal is going to bring me nothing but if i fight and i end up losing you know <laughs> then it will be really shameful so he is in this kind of a uh, you know we talk about win win but he is in a lose lose situation if he wins no big deal nobody is even going to mention because it was expected but if he loses it will be very much of an ill fame it will bring ill fame so he takes a you know an intelligent way out of this he says that i am impressed that you reached here and you are challenging me i'll offer you a boon so having offered a boon just like you know nachiketa was offered but in a different setup here the setup is different 
he offered a boon interestingly prachardana was not expecting this and he says that i really don't know what to ask for what should i ask for so he says i i am you know i'm none the wiser i don't know what to ask for so he also takes an intelligent way out and says that you decide what to offer me as a boon so you indra give me whatever is hitatama for human beings so for human beings whatever hitatama is the best tama pratya is one among many and hitatama means it's the best of the best of whatever is good for human beings and what is that basically purushartha whatever is sought after by human beings whatever is best you give me that teaching which would finally mean moksha shastra so indra had absolutely no other way out because since the question was hitatama teach me something which is hitatama for purushas he had to teach because he knew that there is nothing better than this this is the best so he had to teach that and in that background patra purva pakshe prana indra devata jeevanam what is the conclusion of the purva paksha prana indra devata indra is the devata so indra devata prana is upasya indra devata is upasya and jeeva who is being taught that jeeva is also upasya or among these anyatamah upasti among these three one of them you decide whoever but it will either be prana so he, in the analysis puropakshi claims that there are these things discussed there there is one jeeva pratardana there is indra devata who is the teacher and he is teaching prana the subject matter of teaching there is prana also so prana and in samana adikram prana asmi he says and you say he says that you meditate like this so it can either mean prana being upasya or indra devata who says prana asmi therefore indra devata is upasya or he tells pratardana that this is the teaching so you say prana asmi and you can interpret in that way and land on jeeva as upasya but only one of these three so purva pakshi says prana indra devata and jeeva among them tesham madhye anyatamo upasti there is only one of these three who is upasya not brahma and therefore there is no scope of landing on brahma at all there is no discussion of brahma at all prana indra devata teacher and jeeva pratardana these three are there where is the scope for prana to be misinterpreted by the siddhanti as brahma सिद्धांते ब्रह्मधीरिति फलवेदा सिद्धांति इज नॉट बॉदर्ड विथ ऑल दिस ही सेज इट इज ब्रह्म आई शो यू हाउ ब्रह्म इज उपास्य सो कौशिति उपनिषति इन द कौशिति उपनिषद इंद्र प्रतर्दन आख्यायिकाया सो देर इज अटोरी मेन्शन अबउट इंद्र एंड प्रतर्दन वी सॉ वॉट द स्टोरी वॉज सो प्रतर्दन प्रति इंद्रवाक्यम श्रूयते इन द टीचिंग टू प्रतर्दन the statement of indra the teaching of indra is heard so shruyate prano asmi prajnatma ityadi he says prana asmi i am prana says indra to pratardana and i am this prajnatma 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 is the conscious self and i am prana ityadi and there is such teaching this is the second mantra there tatra kim prana shabdena vayu matram abhidiyate uta indra devata उत जीव अथवा परम ब्रह्म विषय पूर्व पक्षी हेज ओनली फर्स्ट थ्री ऑप्शन सो प्राणशब्द मीन दैट प्राणवायु सो वायुमात्र प्राण इज दैट दि टीचिंग देर और इंद्रदेवता सेकेंड ऑप्शन इंद्रदेवता इज बीइंग टॉट एज दि उपास्य उत जीव द थर्ड प्रतर्दना हुई जीवा देर एंड थ्रू प्रतर्दना ऑल जीवास कैन डू दिस उपासना वॉट एवर वॉज टॉट टू प्रतर्दना other jeevas can also pick up and jeeva becomes upasya you think about yourself as blah 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 whatever is it teaching now siddhanti says oh not these three there is other option also possible which you have not counted athava param brahma and therefore he brings in a samshaya to the purva pakshi purva pakshi says i have absolutely no issues to have prana upasana or 
Indra Upasana and Jiva Upasana as conclusion, I have no issues. But if you say Param Brahma, that is not there in the scope at all. Iti Vishaye Samshaye, when such a doubt comes about, Athakhalu, so there is a statement there. The statement further says that Athakhalu, Athakhalu Pranayeva Pradnyatma, Idam Shariram Parigrihya Uthapayati. That's the mantra there. So, Pranaya Pradnyatma Idam Shariram Parigriya. That statement you are missing. That is a linga. Say the Siddhanti. Here only Athakalu has been said. You know the Athakalu. But if you look at the mantra there, the mantra says, There Athakalu Pranaya Pradnyatma Idam Shariram Parigriya. This prana is prajnatma which has been mentioned earlier. Prana asmi prajnatma says Indra. Then he says, in the next mantra itself he says, that athakhalu prana eva prajnatma, that prana which I am, which is prajnatma, that prajnatma takes up this sharira. Idam shariram parigriya parigriya iti this further there is Uthapi, something is there. Um, I don't have the Upanishad here. There seems to be a typo in the book that I have versus the online uh, this thing. So anyway, our interest is Shariram Parigriya. Prana eva Pradnyatma Shariram Parigriya. Whatever Griya is Yabanta. So having taken up the Sharira, whatever it does. So whether the Samsarati va na va, we are not really bothered about that. But our interest is in the first Kriya. The same karta is there because lyap is a replacement of dva pratya, dva pratya is kartari, and all these are in samanadi karanam prana ha eva prajnatma shariram parigriya having taken up the sharira who is that prana which is prajnatma who has who indra has claimed to be himself so how can indra be prana which is seen as vayu matra so indra devata being prana which is vayu matra as per the claim of the Puro Pakshi or Indra himself as Devata, then that is Prajnatma. So far, somehow, you know, Puro Pakshi is trying to make one of these, Anyatama of these as Upasya. But Siddhanti says, what about Idam Shariram Parigriya, having taken up the Sharira, who has Indra taken up your Sharira? Has Prana taken up your Sharira? Has Atma taken up your Sharira? Has Prajna? Pradnyatma taken up your sharira, you look at it, Brahma has taken up your sharira. Anena jivena atmana anupravishya, elsewhere, here also you have pratyabhidya. Who is that, who takes up the sharira? It is that pradnyatma which is Brahma. Brahma is the sakshi, sakshi as a sakshi who is not a samsari, takes up this sharira, but then Somehow becoming a Pratibimba, identified with that Pratibimba, not becoming a Pratibimba, but identified with the Pratibimba which is the result of this Anupravesha, somehow associates and becomes a Samsari Jeeva. That somehow is Avidya, Avidya Krita. Therefore, Upasana and Jnana Kandas are there to help us out, preceded by Karma Kanda for Chitta Shuddhi, Upasana for A. Ekagrata and Jnana which can take place. So there Uthapayati makes more sense there uh, after Parigriya. I have some other typo as uh, you know Apayati or something like that. However Uthapayati or Apayati what Chintaniyam. We are interested in Parigriya having taken up the Sharira Athakalu. The third mantra you are missing says the Siddhanti to the Puro Pakshi and therefore Ityadi linga, that will become a linga for a Siddhanti. I, I didn't explain the Puro Paksha. So Siddhanti is saying Pranashabdena Brahmeva Vidyate. So Tatha Anugamat because the teaching also will fall in place. I jumped the gun and explained the Siddhanta about Puro Paksha is Athakaru Ityadi linga. He is looking at the third mantra, but he is looking at Prana Eva Pradnyatma. He is not interested in Parigruya, he says that Prana. 
he is taking it as literally there is no brahma which strikes to his mind as anena jeevena atmana anupravishya that and all doesn't come to his mind so he is looking at the third mantra siddhanti is saying why don't you look at the third mantra where anupravishya will fall in place only when you look at hitatama is the teaching so this uh, looking at prana which has taken up the sharira for example very laukika usage of you know somebody died he says oh, he gave up his prana prana left his body all this is there in uh, in culturally it is there in the tradition in india we say that his prana will go if, if he does that so you know uh, because jiva is what jiva pranadharani in the dhatu pata jiva pranadharani so the jiva in the jiva is alive there in the body only as long as prana is there so purva pakshi is looking at that angle and he says prana has entered the sharira he does not go further into analysis there that is sufficient for him prana has entered into sharira and that's how you do your upasana oh in this sharira prana is there indra is saying that uh, prana was me pragnatma and then that brings pragna to the sharira so you can take a very uh, practical uh, and very useful kind of an analysis and say that my insentient body idam shariram this sharira is insentient prana which is that indra devata himself having entered this body having taken up this body has imparted sentience to it so all this kind of a thinking is possible there why do you go to brahma why do you use this brahmastra there says the purva pakshi so ityadi linga vayu matram iti purva paksha this prana vayu has entered the sharira which is causing this pragna in the sharira so it is all falling in place says the purva pakshi iti purva paksha siddhantastu prana shabdena brahmeva abhidiyate siddhanti says that you look at tatparya by shadling what is being discussed here that akhyaika even if it is an arthavada the content of that akhyaika arthavada is not bogus that is the tatpare vishaya so akhyaika what was the question due to which the teaching began the question was you teach me hitatama for purushas so you look at the first mantra there says the siddhanti there hitatama what is mentioned there is you teach me hitatama that will become the hetu linga for understanding this prana shabdena brahmeva abhidiyate by prana what is meant is not this vayu rupa prana vayu matra prana which has entered the body and made this person a jeeva so to say why so because kutaha kasmat karana tatha anugamat the understanding if you look at the entire section what understanding takes place is the same <coughs> as to what i am claiming says the siddhanti the brahmadhi takes place there not vayu matradhi tatha anugamat means tatha brahma paratve anugama the understanding is that the prana shabda is brahma para it means brahma how so hitatamam manyase tvam you whatever you are looking at as hitatama whatever is your understanding as hitatama because being king of devatas you know what is best because devatas rule over the human beings and you rule over the devatas devatas know what human beings want you cannot not know what human beings want and what is the best for the human beings not only what they want what is best for them hitatamam manyase so madhya purusha has been used what you o indra what you think as hitatama that you teach me ityadi ityadi hitatamatva adi so ityadi hitatamatva adi aneka linga nam anugamat anugamat means avagamat because there is such an understanding there is such a linga which brings about this understanding manyas manyase 
मन्ये तो देर अगेन देर टू मेनी टाइपोस देर सो इफ आई टू कंपेयर मनुष्याय हिततमम व्हाट वी आर इंटरेस्टेड मनुष्या मनुष्याय हिततमम व्हाट यू कंसीडर एस एंड देन एन आंसर ही सेज व्हाट हिततमम मन्ये सो दैट मे बी द सेक्शन देर बिकॉज़ दिस मंत्रस आर नॉट शॉर्ट दे आर यू नो लाइक टू टू थ्री पैराग्राफ्स लॉन्ग वन मंत्र सो आई हैव टू सर्च वेयर दिस हिततमम इज देयर but what is important for us is manushya manushyaya or for all manushyas jato ek vachana for for janaha for example janaha is and singular also can mean people so for manushya for a person meaning for all people whatever is the best hitatama the best that you teach me and then he teaches what prano asmi prajnatma prane eva प्रज्ञात्म इदम शरीर परिगृह्य सो इट इज ऑल वॉट दैट प्राण हेज टू बी हिततम ईज प्राण हिततम एवरी वन हेज प्राण इट हेज नॉट बीन हिततम सो फार इनफैक्ट पीपल वॉन्ट टू गिव अप देअर प्राण एट टाइम्स बिकॉज देर सो मच ऑफ दुख सो दैट वायु मात्र इज नॉट अंडर डिस्कशन से सिद्धांति इन दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट टीचिंग ऑफ यू नो मेडिटेट अपॉन प्राण विल गिव यू विल गिव यू गुड ओके maybe you know you meditate upon uh, indra also indra will be happy he'll give you something whatever he gives you will be limited in space time and vastu so all three parichedas will be there vastu paricheda kala paricheda desha paricheda because he himself has that indra cannot be someone else so vastu paricheda is there indra cannot be everywhere at the same time kala paricheda is there indra cannot live forever desha parichheda is there uh, desha uh, that is kala parichheda indra cannot be at multiple multiple places at the same time that is desha parichheda and indra will also not live forever indra is a padavi so some other jeeva will associate with that status as indra and in some other kalpa some other indra will be there why some other kalpa in the same kalpa also someone is you know he is worried that somebody will take away my position so someone does a uh, thousand ashwamedhas comes even close to such a number or even possibility of such a huge number is there then indra will start creating obstacles for that we hear in this purana that's a trithyasa so indra himself is worried about his position as a as an ajnani indra as a jnani indra it's a different matter but he has taught hitatamam as knowing the upasya as brahma para brahma which will lead to the final jnana of moksha or through krama mukti also one may attain brahma loka not indra loka because indra considers indra loka prapti or swarga loka prapti or pitra loka prapti or surya loka whatever as not as hitatama because it may be better it is not the best the best is the brahma loka prapti or jivan mukti here and now but since it is upasana there krama mukti is possible jnana itself is not possible through upasana itself so brahma loka prapti and kramena jivan mukti is also possible there itself in the brahma loka through this upasana therefore the teaching has to be brahma para it cannot be vayu matra prana para so that prana means brahma brahma paratve hitatam manyase ityadi hitatamatvad yaneka lingana anugamat avagamat aneka lingana we can look at this as take the anugriya also uh, parigriya having taken up the sharira so this will give rise to pratyabhijna also anene jeevena atmana anupravesh who is that that sad brahma sad brahma who created the prapancha he himself created the sharira and having created the sharira entered as jeeva so that is not prana that is not indra devata that is brahma which brahma jagat karana brahma janmadhyasya taha and then everything falls into place is the siddhanti ataha atra pranah brahma eva ityartha therefore there is absolutely no doubt that prana means brahma here in this section that you are you have quoted as a pratyudharana is not a pratyudharana it is an example i can use as well says siddhanti nanu asmiti ahankara vadat <coughs> that becomes a linga there is an ahankara vada usage by indra devata is what pranah asmi 
He is not saying Brahma Asmi. He is saying Prana Asmi says Puro Pakshi. Therefore, that will become a Linga. So Asmi iti Ahankara Vadat Lingat. Asmi Prayoga is Uttama Purusha Indra who considers himself as Prana. He says, I am Prana. That I am Prana is a Linga which will oppose your I am Brahma. Prana as Brahma. Not I am Brahma. Prana as Brahma. So, Prana as Brahma, which is not the claim there, he says, Prana I am. Therefore, what? Indra Devata Abhidhyate. Natu Brahma. Indra Devata Abhidhyate. What is the teaching there as Prana? I am Prana. So, he says, okay, Prana Upasana is, why Matra Prana Upasana is not there? What about Indra Upasana? Why not Indra Devata Upasana there? Because Asmi Prayoga is there, Uttama Purusha. Indra is saying, I am. Whatever he is discussing as I am, whatever he is saying, you meditate upon all those characteristic dharmas as Indra dharmas, you will get some phala. That is the upasya. Indra devata is upasya, not Brahma. Ityashankya. Raising this doubt, the Siddhanti answers in the Sutra. Sutrakara says, Navakturatma upadesha diti ched adhyatma sammandha bhumahyasmin. Navakturatmo Padesha Diti Ched Adhyatma Sammandha Bhuma Hyasmin. So now, na Vaktuhu Atmo Padesha Diti Ched Diti Ched Adhyatma Sammandha Bhuma. One word, he Asmin. So the Puro Pakshi is saying Asmi Prayoga is there. And there, who is saying that Indra? Indra Devata. So Indra Devata is Vakta. He is the teacher. He is the one making the claim, making a statement. Prano Asmi. So that Vakta who is saying Prano Asmi. Vaktru, Trijanta. Vakta the speaker. The speaker and Vaktu is Shasti Ekvachana. Vaktu who? Indra Sya. So Indra is Vakta. And Vaktu Indrasya, of that Indra's teaching, Upadesha, Upadeshat, what is the teaching? Atma, Atma Upadeshat. Atma, there means, it's, it's, a, it's a reflexive pronoun. So, a reflexive usage there, Atma there. At, Atma Upadesha, Atma is saying that it's, it's me. The, the self, not the Atma as in. Brahma, but he is saying Atma as oneself. So it means oneself. So the speaker claiming himself as Prana, Vaktu Atma Upadesha, teaching, giving the teaching, because of the teaching of Indra, of Prana as himself, that is Atma, as himself, as Atma, as himself. Therefore, what? Prana cannot mean Brahma. Prana means Indra Devata. Therefore, Indra Devata will become Upasya. There will be no Prana, uh, there will be no Brahmadhi due to Prana Asmi. There will be no Brahmadhi. It cannot give you Brahma Buddhi. Iti Chet, if that be the objection, then Asmin, Asmin Vakke, Asmin Adhikarne. Here, what, what has been seen in the section which has been look, being looked at, there the Siddhanti says, Asmin uh, or Adhyaye in that. Uh, Kaushitika Upanishad there, Asmin Adhyaye, he, he is Yasmat Karanat, Asmin Adhyaye, Adhyatma Sammandha Bhuma, <coughs> Adhyatma Sammandha Sya, Adhyatma Sammandha Sya, Adhyatma is not, this, that, this Atma is not reflexive, it is not uh, reflexive user, it is not himself, the, here Atma means Brahma, so that Adhyatma, Adhyatma is the Atma, the, the Jiva Pratyagatma who is there, who is actually Brahma, Adhyatma Sammandasya Bhuma. Bhuma is Bahulyam. So Bhuma is, uh, Imanich Pratya is used. Bahu plus Imanich will lead to Bhuma. So Bhuma Bahulya Prayoga is there. Bahulyam Upalabhyate. So what this means is that the Puro Pakshi is saying this First half, iti chet, iti chet, before iti chet, whatever is there, that is puro paksha. Na vaktuhu, at, na, na is what? 
न ब्रह्म प्राण न ब्रह्म प्राण शब्द न ब्रह्मार्थ न ब्रह्मार्थक वाय हिज हेतु इज वक्तु आत्मोपदेशा वक्तु इंद्र से आत्मोपदेशा स्वयं प्राण इति उपदेशा आय एम प्राण ड्यू टू दैट कंड ऑफ एम उपदेश टीचिंग चेत ड्यू टू दैट रीजन प्राण के नॉट मीन ब्रह्म इफ दैट इज योर ऑब्जेक्शन चेत देन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज द आंसर विथ हेतु ऑफ द सिद्धांत नो नॉट सो वाय प्राण मीन्स ब्रह्म नॉट इंद्रदेवता हिमसेल्फ ऑल दो क्लेम्स दैट इट अपियर्स टू बी सो ऑन प्राइमा फेस इट अपियर्स टू बी सो ऑन फेस वैल्यू बट अध्यात्म संबंध भूमा ही अस्मिन इफ यू गो टू खो टू दी एंटायर अधिकार अस्मिन अध्याय हि अस्मा कारण अध्यात्म संबंध से भूमा भूमा बाहुल्यम अस्त बाहुल्यम उपलभ्य है देर फोर वॉट तस्मा प्राण ब्रह्म दैट इज द कंक्लूजन ऑफ द सूत्र देर फोर प्राण इज ब्रह्म न इंद्रदेवता विशेष इट्स नॉट सम विशेष इंद्रदेवता Indra-devata is generally saying I, and that I is what actually I, I in each and every being. That ahantaya pranha, when prani says that prana is there, the living being says aham, aham, aham. Each of the living beings has aham. That aham is Brahma, is prana means is Brahma. Because everywhere prana is not identified as I, Brahma is identified as I, as I, and that is the bahulyam teaching there. अध्यात्म संबंध प्रत्येक आत्म संबंध से भूमा बाहुल्यम इनर मोस्ट सेल्फ इज व्हाट इज मेंट बाय आई यू हैव टू टेक दी आई ऑल दी वे वेर यू के नॉट गो एनी फर्दर सो हु इज दैट आई दैट इंद्र देवता क्लेम्स टू बी सॉरी देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ बैकग्राउंड नॉइज इंसेक्टिसाइड और समथिंग विच इज बींग स्प्रेड I don't know whether you hear it, but there's some background noise here. So, Indra Devata saying aham that aham asmi that aham is not the Indra Devata Vishesha. That aham is going all the way through the pancha koshas within and where you cannot go further again. That avadhi, that uh, gati hi, that uh, uttama gati, or what uh, sa kasta sa paragati hi, paragati hi. The ultimate. I, which objectifies everything, but which itself is not objectifiable, that is meant by aham by Indra Devata there, and that is Brahma, because that I is manifest, comes up in each and every thought, in each and every being. Therefore, due to that bhuma, bahulyam of pratyagatma sambandha, atma sambandha, therefore what tasma. प्राण ब्रह्म प्राण शब्द ब्रह्मार्थक न इंद्रदेवता विशेष और न इंद्रदेवताथक निवृत्ति से वक्त इंद्र से देवता विशेष इंद्र इज देवता विशेष बीट किंग अमोंग देवता बट ही स्टिल एन इंडिविजुअल देवता दे किंग इज ऑल्सो एन इंडिविजुअल जस्ट बिकॉज वी रूल्स ओवर एवरी वन ही इज नॉट एवरी वन एवरी वन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर किंगडम सो वक्त इंद्र से देवता विशेष से आत्मोपदेशा मेव विजानी प्राण प्राणोस्मी प्रज्ञात्मा मेव विजानी से फर्स्ट मंत्र इट सेल इंद्र स्टार्ट दि टीचिंग से दैट नो मी नो मी एंड देन ही सेज आय एम प्राण एक्सेट्रा नो मी मेव विजानी हेज बीन क्लेम से पूर्व पक्षी आत्म उपदिश्य मानवा ड्यू टू टीचिंग एज You know, oneself as himself, there, prana ha na brahma iti chet. Therefore, prana being claimed as brahma by the Siddhanti is not right. If that be the objection, atra uchchate. The reply is so. Adhyatma sambandhu bhuma yasmin niti. No, adhyatma sambandha is there. There is bahulyam scene of adhyatma sambandha. That I does not mean I devata vishesha, but I which is within pratyagatma he yasmat. Jasmat is the meaning of he due to that reason. Which reason? Due to which reason? Due to this reason which has been, which is going to be quoted. Asmin adhyay in this chapter of section of the Kaushitya Upanishad. 
Yavadhyasmin sharire prano vasati tavad vayu. There is a typo here. It should be vayu. Uh, not uh, ayu. Tavad ayu. It is right. Sorry. So yavadhyasmin sharire. In the sharira as long as prana is there. Prano vasati tavad ayu. So long is the life ticking. As long as prana is there in that. In this sharira. In each and every sharira really. Sayesha prana yo prajnatma. Okay, so far, Puro I have no issues. I am also saying the same thing. But then, Sa Esha Prana Eva Prajnatma Anandaha Ajaraha Amrutaha That Prana is Prajnatma. Is consciousness really is the Chidvastu. And it is Ananda Tattva. Prana is, nobody says Prana is Ananda. Vayu is Ananda, no one says. Won't make sense. Why you is conscious also, you can, you know, by extension say that prana made this uh, sharira sentient, so one can misunderstand. But ananda, okay, what about ajara? Prana grows weak as one ages. How can you say is ajara? Prana does not, you know, weaken, it does not have old age. Amruta, prana is amruta, lives forever. Not true. So all these are lingas. So bahulyam is there. What is being talked about? That Prajnatma, Prana is Prajnatma, meaning what? That Prajnatma is not reflexive Atma, not uh, Indra Devata himself, who is saying, uh, I am once, I am myself. That myself, that my has to be dropped there. I am the self, that self which is there in everyone as I, I, Ahantaya, whatever is there, Ahantaya, in each and every being, that Prajnatma is Ananda Rupa. It is Ajaraha, Amruta, all fits in place because it is Pratyagatma, which is Brahma. Therefore, Brahmadhi will take place. Iti, Ityadi, Adhyatma Sammandasya, Pratyagatma Sammandasya. That Atma means Pratyagatma, not uh, because Ajara, Amruta is Pratyagatma, Ananda is uh, uh, Atma Swarupa. It is not Prana, Vayu Swarupa, it is not Indra Devata Swarupa. Bhuma, Bahulyam Upalabhyate. Since there is, there is, there is many a word in that meaning. Ajara, Amruta, Ananda is all in the meaning of Pratyagatma, not Indra Devata's singular individual Atma, what he considered as the reflexive self. Tasmat Pranatmaka Brahma Upadeshevayam. Therefore, this teaching is nothing but Brahma's teaching as Upasya Devata, Parabrahma. The teaching of Brahma is Upasya, not Brahma. The teaching of Brahma is Upasya, Pranatmaka Brahma Upadesha only. Na Devata Vishesha Upadesha is Siddham. So it is not a teaching of Upasya being Indra Devata who is a Devata Vishesha or in the earlier Sutra as Prana. Therefore, the Prana word has to mean Brahma and Asmi there, Atmatvena. That Upadesha has to mean Pratyagatma and Pratyagatmatvena Brahma Eva, not Devata Vishesha. This is the conclusion of the Sutra. Uh, the next sutra is in the same adhikarana. We will look at more in the next pata. So, Katham Tari Vaktur Atma Upadesha. So, the question which is raised is how, how can there be Atma Upadesha at all? If at all it is Pratyagatma, but still, how can Indra claim that I am Prana? So, if Prana means Brahma, that claim would be I am Brahma. So, his objection is how can Indra make that claim? And that we will see in the next pata with the sutra as the answer. I don't think I made the uh, Mangala Charana in the beginning. Amrayanta Sampritam Adi Madhyanta Varjitam Ananda Ghana Mahapurana Mahatma Jyoti Rupasmahe Sat. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.